Mandaluyong, officially the city of Mandaluyong, Tagalog, Lungsod ng Mandaluyong, or simply known as Mandaluyong City, is a first-class highly urbanized city in Metro Manila, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 386,276 people, located directly east of Manila. It is known for the Ortigas Center, a commercial and business center that is also shared with the city of Pasig. Notable institutions and establishments in the city include the Asian Development Bank, the headquarters of Banco de Oro and San Miguel Corporation and shopping malls like Shangri-La Plaza and SM Megamall. The city is bordered by Manila to the west, San Juan to the north, Quezon City to the northeast, Pasig to the east, and Makati to the south. It is also the sixth smallest city in the Philippines with a land area of 11.06 square kilometers, 4.27 square miles. Etymology There are different stories on the origin of the name Mandaluyong. One tells of how the place was abundant with a kind of tree called luyong, now more commonly known as anaha, Cerebus rodentifolius, from which beautiful canes and furniture were made. Another claims that the Spaniards named the place based on the report of a navigator named Acapulco, who saw the rolling hills frequently being lashed at by the Luyong, big waves from the sea. This seems to confirm traditional pre-Hispanic stories that giant waves from the sea would meet the adjoining hills of the vast lowland, referred to as Salpicon ng Alon. Felix de la Huerta, a Franciscan historian, observed that the rolling topography of this land resembled giant waves of the sea. As with the etymological legends of many Philippine places, when the foreigners asked as to what the place was called, the locals answered with the description, Madaluyong, undulating, later transcribed by Spanish writers into Mandaluyong, with the addition of an N. Romantic residents, however, peddled a similarly formulaic legend of a Maharlika named Luyong who fell in love with Manda, the lovely daughter of a barangay chieftain. The chieftain had no personal liking for Luyong and forbade him Manda's hand. Luyong overcame this objection by winning a series of tribal contests which was the custom at the time. The couple settled thereafter in a place which was later called Manda Luyong by means of joining their names. History 14th century Residents of Manda Luyong have always been known for their industry. Men did the laundry to the amusement of non-residents until shortly after the war, while the women ironed the clothes. These industrious people trace their roots to Emperor Soldan, also known as Anka Widyaya of the Great Majapahit Empire, and Empress Sasaban of the Kingdom of Sapa whose son Prince Balagdas ruled as sovereign of the kingdom in about the year 1300. More than a century later, in about the year 1470, it expanded and was called the Kingdom of Namayan, with Lakanta Khan as sovereign. The vast kingdom comprised what are now Quiapo, San Miguel, Sta, Mesa, Paco, Pandacan, Malate, Malate and Sta. Ana in Manila, and Mandaluyong, San Juan, Makati, Pasay, Pateros, Taguig, Parañaque, and portions of Pasig and Quezon City up to Diliman that were then part of Mandaluyong. 19th century Mandaluyong was first known as a barrio of Sta. Ana de Sapa which was part of the district of Paco, province of Tondo. Named San Felipe Neri by the Spaniards in honor of the patron saint of Rome, it was separated civilly from Sta. Ana de Sapa in 1841. On September 15, 1863 San Felipe Neri established its own parish and under the administration of the congregation Dulcissimo Nombre de Jesus, it constructed its own church, convent and school. The parish of San Felipe Neri played a significant role as a relay station for propagating the Katipunan during the 1896–1898 revolution. Mandaluyong shows significance in the historic Philippine Revolution of 1896 as the Balwarte territory of Katipunan or Makabuhe group with 17 17 branches. 
On August 29, 1896, Andres Bonifacio, together with Emilio Jacinto and other members of the Katipunan went into the house of Romualdo Vicencio at Sitio Balakbac, now Villa San Miguel, to prepare for the upcoming revolution against Spanish authority. In this site, Bonifacio read the last manifestation of the Katipunan before they transferred in Hagdan Bado, in the house of Felix Sanchez. This event is also known as the 29 de Augusto and Panagtipunan, in which it is already named in two streets near the historic Barangay Hagdan Bado Itas. It was in Barangay Hagdang Bado on August 28, 1896 where Andres Bonifacion issued a proclamation setting Saturday August 29, 1896 as the date of the attack on Manila. On August 30, 1896, after the successfully revolution in San Felipe Neri, the Katipuneros went to San Juan del Monte and attacked the El Polvoran gunpowder depot, in order to amass more weapons to use against the Spaniards. This event is popularly known as the Battle of San Juan del Monte. It was also in this town that the revolutionary paper, La República, was established on September 15, 1896. 20th century During the American occupation, San Felipe Neri was raised to a first-class municipality with five five barrios, namely, Poblacion, Barranca, Hagdang Bado, Namayan and Hulo. Under Presidential Act No. 942, it was consolidated with the municipality of San Juan del Monte and became the seat of government. For several months in 1904, San Felipe Neri became the capital of the province of Rizal. San Felipe Neri was separated from San Juan and became an independent municipality on March 27, 1907. It was renamed the Municipality of Mandaluyong by virtue of House Bill No. 3836 which was authored and sponsored by Assemblyman Pedro Magdalen, then the representative of the district of Rizal. Many government infrastructures are established during the American period including the Correctional Institute for Women, Welfareville Compound, the Boys Town, and the National Center for Mental Health. During World War II, Mandaluyong lost many of her people, among them were Catholic priests and civilians. Destruction was felt all over, but with the timely arrival of the American Liberation Forces and the Philippine Commonwealth troops on February 9, 1945, the municipality was saved from further damages. That day became a red calendar day for Mandaluyong marking its liberation from the Japanese Imperial Forces by the Allies. After World War II, Mandaluyong began to become progressive and dramatically increase the economy. Many infrastructures, companies, and other businesses were developed in 1950s to 1960s and as the result, Mandaluyong recognized as the most developed municipality in the province of Rizal. Separation from Rizal Province On November 7, 1975, Mandaluyong was formally included in newly established Metropolitan Manila by virtue of Presidential Decree No. 824 signed by President Ferdinand Marcos. By virtue of the 1987 Constitution Mandaluyong and the then Municipality of San Juan were represented in Congress by a single congressman. Cityhood Representative Rinaldo Zamora sponsored a House bill which eventually became Republic Act 7675 otherwise known as an act converting the municipality of Mandaluyong into a highly urbanized city to be known as the City of Mandaluyong. President Fidel V. Ramos signed R.A. No. 7675 into law on February 9, 1994, the 49th anniversary of its liberation from the Japanese, which was ratified through a plebiscite on April 10, 1994 making Mandaluyong the fifth city in Metro Manila. Mandaluyong became a lone district with its own representative in Congress. Prior to the enactment of the assailed statute, the municipalities of Mandaluyong and San Juan belonged to only one legislative district. 21st century Mandaluyong today is composed of 27 barangays divided into two political districts mainly by Boney Avenue and G. Aglipay Street. As of January 9, 2002, it has 1,238 voting precincts and a total of 166,037 registered voters. 
In 2003, Mandaluyong was recognized as the Tiger City of the Philippines because of dramatic improvement in the city's economy. History of local barrios according to Pedro Patricio in his book Mandaluyong, 1837-1975, Mandaluyong had five original barrios, Poblacion, Barranca, Hagdang Bado, Namian, and Hulo, as per the first recorded census in 1903. From these five evolved 22 sub-barrios which, like the original barrios, then became independent barangays. Poblacion this place used to be called Buhangan, Sand, before it was named Poblacion because the whole stretch of the area, from F. Blumentritt corner of New Panadero's extension up until the Catholic Church and the cemetery, was topped with sandy soil of about 2 to 3 inches thick. Namayan the first settlers of this place were Muslim Filipinos. They were later driven away by the Spanish colonizers who came to the place. Still unnamed till then, the inhabitants called it Namayan, in memory of the original settlers of the place. Hulo, San Pedrillo, Hulo means outer part, or external, location of a barrio or town. When Barranca was still a sloping forest, Hulo was already a sitio with a few inhabitants. Early inhabitants of Mandaluyong used to call the place as such because of its remoteness of location. This place continued to be called as such until the name was officially adopted when it eventually became a barrio. Buyang Bato located at the southeast shoreline of Mandaluyong is a small barangay called Buyang Bato. Its legend tells of an old Chinese man long time ago who, despite conversion to Christianity of his fellow Chinese nationals residing in this place, ridicules the religion. One day, while the old man was on a boat crossing the Pasig River, the devil decided to take him to hell. Transforming into a crocodile, the devil swam towards the boat. The old man, who had never seen such a huge crocodile, was terribly shaken. Realizing that the god he worships is too far away in China, he began to call on Saint Nicholas, whose statue he saw in Guadalupe Church across the Pasig River, to save him. Miraculously, the creature turned into a stone. Shortly after, the old man embraced Christianity. And the stone crocodile, it is said, could be found during low tide at the bank of the river near the Ta'iran ferry station. The place came to be known because of this stone crocodile, Buyang Bato, in Filipino. Barranca alongside Brigi. Buyang Bato is Barranca, then a single barangay but later divided into four, four during the time of municipal mayor Bonifacio Javier, Barranca Alea, Uptown, Barranca Idaz, Upper, Barranca Ibaba, Lower, and Barranca Drive. It was said that at the time when the Philippines was under the Spanish regime, there lived an old woman named Barang who had a young daughter. The daughter was in the rice fields when she was attacked by a man. As she was calling her mother for help, Ka Barang, Ka Barang, the surrounding hills echoed her cry which was heard by the Spaniards. And as the story goes, the place came to be called Barranca. Hagdang Bado this place is located on the uplands where steps are carved in its rocky hills and used as stairways. However, this place is more popular for its historical significance because of the role it played during the Spanish occupation. It was in this place, where, on August 28, 1896, Andres Bonifacio issued a proclamation setting Saturday August 29, as the date of the attack on Manila. At 7 o'clock o'clock on Saturday evening, Supremo Andres Bonifacio held a meeting which was attended by more or less 1,000 Katipuneros. Weapons were distributed during this meeting and the revolution began as church bells tolled. Zaniga Lying on the lowlands adjoining Hagdang Bato is Saniga which used to be a marshland teeming with various fruit-bearing and hardwood trees. The place was home to many local heroes who gallantly fought during the Spanish, American and Japanese occupations. Thus, some of its streets are named after them like Capt. Magtodo Street, Capt. Gabriel Street, and Private E. Reyes Street. During the 1960s and 1970s, progress gave way to concrete roads and houses sprouted in neighboring areas. This neighborhood was called New Zaniga Subdivision, while the original Saniga was renamed Old Zaniga. Plainview As the name implies, this place is a vast plain used to be planted with rice and corn. The place abounded with trees and was popular to bird hunters. Once it was a private property developed by its owner, Ortigas, Madrigal and Company, into a subdivision providing a site for the municipal center. 
Afterwards, it was made a separate barangay through a presidential decree. Its original name, Plainview, was retained and at present, it hosts the Mandaluyong City Hall and other public institutions. Wack Wack At the northern part of the city is Barangay Wack Wack, known internationally for the golf and country club it hosts. Stories tell that many years ago, the place was a vast grassland which was home to numerous large glossy black birds called UWAK crow. It was from this UWAK that the name Wack Wack was derived. Geography Mandaluyong lies on a heart-shaped 11.06 square kilometers, 4.27 square miles of land, 7 kilometers, 4.3 miles southeast of Manila and 8 kilometers, 5.0 miles west of Pasig. To the south lies Makati, to the northwest San Juan, and to the northeast Quezon City. Thus Mandaluyong is located at the center of Metro Manila. A popular landmark of Mandaluyong is the EDSA Shrine. Located along Epifanio de los Santos Avenue, or EDSA, the shrine serves as a monument to the Virgin Mary, considered to be the protector of those who participated in the People Power Revolution of 1986, the country's first peaceful and bloodless revolution, which led to the downfall of the corrupt regime under President Ferdinand Marcos. Barangays Mandaluyong is politically subdivided into 27 barangays. Climate Mandaluyong's climate is classified as tropical. In winter, there is much less rainfall in Mandaluyong than in summer. This climate is considered to be awe according to the Köppen Geiger climate classification. The temperature here averages 27.2 degrees Celsius. In a year, the average rainfall is 2,093 mm. Precipitation is the lowest in February, with an average of 8 mm. With an average of 448 mm, the most precipitation falls in August. At an average temperature of 29.2 degrees Celsius, May is the hottest month of the year. January has the lowest average temperature of the year. It is 25.5 degrees Celsius. Between the driest and wettest months, the difference in precipitation is 440 mm. During the year, the average temperatures vary by 3.7 degrees Celsius. Demographics Economy the city is home to a number of shopping centers, entertainment hubs, commercial establishments, high-rise offices, residential condominiums and hotels. The city is one of the important business and financial areas in the metropolis. Commercial activities Like other cities in Metro Manila, Mandaluyong has its own share of commercial strips and a central business district. The former commercial area, consisting mostly of banks, offices and service establishments, stretch along public transport routes thereby serving both local consumers and passers-by from the neighboring localities. Major commercial strips of the city include the stretch of Boney Avenue, Shaw Boulevard, Libertad Sierra Madre area, Calentong, San Francisco, part of Martinez, S.G.T. Bumate towards Barranca Drive and Pinatubo towards EDSA. Mandaluyong's central business district is concentrated on the EDSA Shaw Pioneer area. Industrial activities Industrial activities are mostly concentrated within the Shaw Boulevard Pioneer area and along the Pasig River. Although prominent in the manufacture of foods, medicines and laboratory equipment, these industries are gradually declining in number, opting to relocate in newly developed industrial zones outside metropolitan Manila. In the Pasig River area, particularly in Barangays Namayan and Mabina J. Rizal, areas formerly industrial are now the sites for residential subdivisions and townhouses. In the EDSA Shaw Pioneer area, the transformation is toward a more economically profitable and globally competitive commercial activity. And since December 2013, Mandaluyong is the home of one of the largest television networks in the country, the 5 Network, owned by TV5 Network located at the TV5 Media Center. Shopping centers 
These super-regional supermalls each have over a hundred local and international stores and are anchored by at least one department store and supermarket or hypermarket. They are also the largest malls in Metro Manila which feature not just stores but also attractions, movie theaters, rides, skating rinks, bowling alleys and other recreational facilities. Each provides thousands of automobile parking spaces and are located mostly near rail stations and established business districts within the metropolis. These malls serve not only the Metro Manila and Greater Manila area residents, but also local and foreign tourists. Among the malls in the city are Shangri-La Plaza and SM Mega Mall. Local Government 2016 Philippine Local Election Results Mayors of Mandaluyong Listed below are persons who have served as mayors of Mandaluyong from the 20th century to the new millennium. Transportation The city is provided with good access roads to and from adjacent cities in the metropolis. The city is served by one of Metro Manila's main roads such as the Epifanio de los Santos Avenue, EDSA, Ortigas Avenue and Shaw Boulevard. Airport The city is 36 minutes away from the Ninoy Aquino International Airport. Land Mandaluyong is served by the Epifanio de los Santos Avenue, Metro Manila's main thoroughfare. Considered as the heart of the metropolis, main roads such as the Ortigas Avenue and Shaw Boulevard provide intercity linkages, while Boney Avenue and Martinez Street C3 Road serve as alternate routes in the city. Other major roads in Mandaluyong include Boney Pioneer Underpass, a 280-meter-long tunnel underneath EDSA Epifanio de los Santos Avenue, connecting Boney Avenue on its western end and Pioneer Street on the east, and Julia Vargas Avenue. Jeepneys are one of the most popular mode of public transportation for commuters in the city. Aside from jeepneys, tricycles and pedicabs are also one of the important modes of public transportation in Mandaluyong, especially on alleys around the city. Water The presence of the Pasig River stretching along the south border of Mandaluyong provides an alternative route and mode of public transportation mainly for cargo freight of industries along the river, and for commuters seeking for a faster and more direct route to and from the cities of Pasig and Manila. The Pasig River Ferry Service has one station in the city. Railway The city is also served by rail via the Manila Metro Rail Transit System Line 3. The line is located along the Epifanio de los Santos Avenue. The city is served by three MRT-3 stations, Ortigas MRT Station Shaw Boulevard MRT Station Boney MRT Station Bridges Mandaluyong is accessed by Pasig River and San Juan River. Health Mandaluyong has several private and public hospitals and health center, namely the privately owned Dr. Victor R. Potenciano Medical Center along EDSA and Unciano General Hospital, and the government hospital Mandaluyong City Medical Center. The city is also home to the National Center for Mental Health. Many residents, specifically the middle to upper class medical clientele, visit the nearby the medical city in Ortigas Center. The Dr. Victor R. Potenciano Medical Center is a tertiary care hospital that has a 189-bed capacity within its 10-story hospital building. In 2007, the Mandaluyong City Government, together with non-governmental organization Rehabilitation and Empowerment of Adults and Children Reach Foundation, established a community-based rehabilitation program called Project Therapy, Education, and Assimilation of Children with Handicap Teach, that caters to children with special needs coming from indigent families. Services given by Project Teach include free occupational therapy, physical therapy, speech therapy and special education classes. Education Four well-known educational institutions in the city are the Arellano University, Mandaluyong Plaridel Campus, Don Bosco Technical College, Jose Rizal University and Rizal Technological University. A good number of city officials of Mandaluyong are alumni of Don Bosco, including incumbent mayor, Benjamin Avalos Jr., H.S. 79, former vice mayor, Renato Sta. Maria, H.S., 65, City Councilors Edward Bartolome, H.S., 96, Noel Bernardo, H.S., 79, and Jonathan Avalos, H.S., 85. 
Other notable alumni include King of Pinoy Rap, Francis Magalona, HS 81, and actor Ricky DeVoe, HS 78. Meanwhile, the alumni of JRU that includes President Ramon Magsaysay, Roderick Paulate, and Secretary Armand V. Fabella. Other colleges in the city include the Our Lady of Guadalupe Colleges, specializing in medicine and nursing, STI and AMA, both specializing in computer technology education, both located on Shaw Boulevard, NAMEI Polytechnic Institute, specializing in marine sciences, and the International Baptist College. The city is also home to Lord's School of Mandaluyong, Est, 1959, a Franciscan Marian all-boys school, located in the Ortigas Center District managed by the OFM Capuchins, La Salle Green Hills, Est, 1959, a private all-boys high school, managed by the De La Salle Brothers, located along Ortigas Avenue, and St. Pedro Pavetta College, Est, 1960, another famous all-girls institution, offering preschool, grade school, high school, and college education. Although the official school address is Quezon City, part of the Lot Pavetas campus stands on as under Mandaluyong City. Mandaluyong High School est, 1977, is the oldest public high school in the city. City of Mandaluyong Science High School est, 1996, a public science high school on E. Pantaleon Saint the city has 18 public schools, including primary and secondary schools as prioritized by the city government. The Mataz na Paralang Napatli A. Gonzalez is the largest school in Mandaluyong and the only school in the city which has the STEM high school program. The Neptalians are also multi-awarded and has various great observations by the regional supervisors that captures their attentions. Radio transmitters DWAD Radio Nagayon 1098 kHz AM transmitter 209E de la Paz DWAD 1098 kHz Metro Manila is an AM station owned by Crusaders Broadcasting System and Audiovisual Communicators Inc in the Philippines the station's studio are located at 17th floor of Strata 2000 building Ortigas Center Pasig City International Relations Diplomatic missions Countries that have set up permanent missions or embassies in the city include Malta Peru Slovenia Sudan Tanzania Sister cities Official march the official march of Mandaluyong is entitled, Martsa ng Mandaluyong, and was composed by then Councillor Delphin Asistio during the incumbency of then Mayor Benjamin Avalos. See also List of renamed cities and municipalities of the Philippines References External links Mandaluyong, official city website Geographic data related to Mandaluyong at OpenStreetMap